I'm delighted to be here today um, as we celebrate yet another development in our tourism sector, the opening of the new Waitui Beach Club. I would like to commend Richmond Limited and Sofitel Fiji Resort and Spa for their strategic thinking that has resulted in this innovative project. This $3.2 million Waitui Beach Club is a dynamic new area with its own pool, champagne bar, restaurant and poolside cabanas. The new pool area is a new adult themed accommodation compromising about 74 beach club rooms and in close proximity to and complementing the beach club concept. Whilst we may provide the best and the friendliest services, we also need to ensure that we are able to cater to our market needs. And therefore, it is important that we are, a we are a destination that is able to offer more than just, uh, just family travel. Therefore, the concept of the y Beach Club provides that we are capable of catering for a wide range of tourism needs, such as catering for the health-conscious visitors. And I'm sure that the guests will enjoy participating in the complimentary yoga and tai chi offered by the club. This investment indicates the confidence the private sector has in Fiji and in the Bainimarama government and its sound and stable policies that stimulate sustainable growth, the growth of our economy and the industries that support it. Ladies and gentlemen, we have been doing extremely well in terms of visitor arrivals. The visitor arrivals in the first six months of this year has increased by 9% or a total of 335,517 compared to the same period last year. Yet we need to strive to make each year bigger and better. And it is approximately 48% of the total of last year's arrival records. However, tourism numbers should not be the indicator for a successful industry. Our focus should be the value, the earnings from the sector, According to the Fiji Bureau of Stats, the earnings for, the, for quarter one this year has increased by 8.7% compared to the same period in 2014. That is why the Bainimarama government has set ambitious goals for the tourism industry and with the numbers we have recorded over the past year, I'm confident that we are on track to achieving the targets that, we have, that have been set and one which spells out $2 billion in terms of an in industry by 2020. Ladies and gentlemen, the Fijian government is focused to grow both local and foreign investments to spread the wealth brought on by these investments to all Fijians. And so far, tourism has been the most responsive and proactive contributor towards this initiative. Tourism provides an avenue for sustainable development and we will continue to facilitate a positive environment with pro-growth policies and in innovative strategies that will bring prosperity to all Fijians. We will provide the infrastructure and the incentives for this growth, but to achieve the goal of taking for the Fijian tourism industry to new heights and to maintain the upward trajectory we have been enjoying thus far, we need all stakeholders to work together as a team. The recently launched Fijian trade policy framework outlines specific policy recommendations for the tourism sector and as part of the implementation mechanism we will be approaching captains of the industry to be part of the Trade and Development Council and the Tourism Specific Subcommittee. Therefore we look forward to your cooperation and support. Ladies and gentlemen, with those few words I have the pleasure to officially open the Waitui Beach Club and I wish it every success in its future operation.